Welcome to Teacher Access Center Gradebook 3.0. This session is designed to introduce you to the Gradebook Scores page. During this session, we will add an assignment, score assignments, run the student detail report, and review the new functionality in the Gradebook. We recommend that you first look at the Gradebook Setup Lesson. German 1 and German 2 are taught during the same period by the same teacher. These are sometimes called combination courses or inclusion courses. Let's work with these two classes. Let's start by clicking the gradebook icon. We're looking at German 1. We can easily see the assignments, the dates of those assignments, and the points. Each category is a different color. We can quickly identify the assignments and scores that have been published to the Home Access Center. Click the multiple button on the gradebook header to list the students and assignments in both courses. Look at the vocabulary assignment. Some score slots have slashes. This assignment does not apply to German 2. Now let's add some scores. We'll start by giving all the students the same score for vocabulary list. Then we'll change those scores that need to be updated. Click on the Assign Score icon. With the Assign Default Score tool, we can add scores to empty slots, override existing scores, or clear all scores. The black corners of each score signify the score has not been saved. Click on the File Save icon in the upper right-hand corner of the page. If you move away from the page without saving, you will be reminded that you have not saved the scores. The course header includes each student's average, the average score for each assignment, and an average of the student's averages. By opening the Change Course button, a list of your classes displays. You can select another class from this list. Notice the first column has an icon next to German 1 and German 2. This icon just indicates that these are two courses that are combinations. Before we can add an assignment, we must return to the single class mode. Click the single button. If you need to work with another course, Use the Change Course button to select a different course. Now click the Add Assignment icon to open the Assignment drawer. Create a new assignment in the Assignment drawer. Click the question mark to reveal the Assignment drawer online help. Emily McLaughlin was given extra points for the assignment Let's add a comment to that assignment to explain why. First, we'll select the score slot and right-click to open the option menu. Notice you can enter a comment, edit the student's grading scale, or view student's attendance from this option menu. Let's choose Enter Comment. Create comments using a predefined comment code or enter your own free text comment. You can also use both. You can also publish this to the Home Access Center. Now let's look at other features of Gradebook. The red indicator icon on the Gradebook header bar is used to show special conditions on an assignment. There are four indicators to choose from. Let's see how they work. The next several screens will see examples of drop scores, assignments where students have been given excessive points, assignments where students were absent, and assignments where students may have received a special comment for that assignment. Our first example shows scores that may be dropped when calculating the report card. This screen points out Emily received extra credit for her vocabulary list assignment. Sarah Jones was absent on April 1st when the oral reading assignment was due. 
Let's look at Sarah's attendance for that day. Click in the score field, then right-click the mouse. Choose View Attendance. We can see that Sarah had an excused absence during period two. In our final example, we can see that there's a comment attached to Emily's extra credit score. Some of the tasks we've done so far involve clicking in the score field, then right-clicking the mouse to display the option menu to enter a comment, edit the student's grading scale, or to view attendance. These options are also available from the action menu. The action menu is located to the left of the indicator icon. Both student reports and class statistical reports can be run from the action menu. Let's see an example of the student detail report. Like most reports, you'll be able to choose what to include in that report. Here you will also be able to run the report for the entire class or be selective on a student. This report is often used to justify a student's report card mark to the student or the parent. It shows how the calculations were achieved. Please refer to Student Access Center Online Help for a description of the remaining reports. Let's look at other features which will change the look of your gradebook page. Notice that you can filter on assignments by category. Change the order of your student list by clicking on any column name in the course header. You can decide on the columns you want to see in your gradebook. First right click the mouse, then click on Show Hide Columns. We have three icons that allow you to move the columns. The double-headed arrow orders the columns from left to right. Clicking the minus hides the column. Clicking the plus displays the column. We added a course after the student name and removed alerts. We've included both German 1 and German 2 in our student list. After clicking the course heading, the students are grouped by course. Now let's view the student demographic information by clicking on a student's name. The student drawer opens in quick view. You can add a note about the student in the course, see missing assignments, see the student's schedule for the day, or see the full schedule by clicking on the View Full Student link. Clicking on the column of icons to the left allows you to see more of the student's record. You may be able to see student contact and emergency information, their demographic data, report cards or transcripts, standardized tests, published classwork in all their courses, or a student success plan if they have one. The information that will be available to you will depend on your district policies. Here is a sample of the student's registration information. You can move through your student list without returning to the class list. The single left arrow moves to the previous student. The double left arrow returns to the first student in your class list. The single right arrow moves to the next student. And the double right arrow advances to the end of the list. The student drawer also has its own online help. Click the question mark to view the help pages. Here's a sample of a page from the student drawer help. And finally, the comment icons indicate that both Amelia Johnson and Sarah Jones have additional notes. Clicking on the comment icon opens the student drawer in the quick view where you may view the note. In this lesson, we've learned how to navigate the gradebook scores page. We added an assignment, added scores, ran a student detail report, and navigated through the many functions in the gradebook. For more instructions, refer to the Teacher Access Online Help or contact your district's eSchool Plus support personnel.